Hello friends, so we were discussing the data hazards and in this session we are going to take up the read write hazard. We've already discussed the write read hazard and the condition to check whether in a given uh, you know set of instructions the write read hazard will occur or not. So let's just take a quick recap and then we'll move on to our read write hazard. Let's just see its classification only. So what is the data hazard first? When instructions that exhibit data dependence modify data in different stages of a pipeline then we say that the data hazard can occur or it might occur. So the types were types of only data hazard were write read hazard which is also known as read after write and true dependency problem. Then we have the read write hazard which we are going to discuss in this session. Write read was covered in the previous session. You may please view the previous video in the same playlist. Write read uh, okay hazard is covered and now we'll discuss read write hazard which is also known as write after read and anti-dependency problem and in the next session we'll be discussing we'll be taking up the topic of write write hazard which is also known as write after write or the output dependency then after this we'll also take up the control hazard and structural hazard so for now let's just start with the read write hazard problem or anti-dependency hazard problem so what happens in this case as the name suggests there'll be a read after writes so there'll be there'll be occurring a read after write let's see how this ha happens with the help of an example so we have this example over here with us now let's see what is this example we have two instructions again and the two instructions first one is performing an add which is an arithmetic operation the second one is performing an or operation which is a logical operation now uh, logical execu uh, logical instruction executions generally execute very much faster in comparison to arithmetic operations. So what happens is if both of them are requesting some common resource, a race around happens and obviously if this is faster, this is going to access the resource before than this. But what we required was that J instruction occurs only after I. But now because of their you know internal characteristics or you can say because or uh, generally executes very much faster than add logical instructions execute faster than the arithmetic uh, arithmetic operations so or con uh, condition or or operation wins that race back uh, condition wins that race back situation and it executes before this so what will happen now if this has executed before R2 will now store the contents of R3 or R4, right? The resultant contents of R3 or R4. And then thereafter, this add will perform, which will add the contents of R2 and R3 and store it into R1. But now the problem is, if you look this uh, original schedule, what is what was happening was, first R1 was storing the contents of R2 and R3, where R2 contained the original contents. Now, since the OR has been performed before ADD, so the contents, original contents of R2 have been modified. So that means R1 will now contain wrong contents or the contents which are not as per the requirement, right? So this is known as read write hazard so what happened was read write hazard why is it read write hazard because initially i was reading it and then i was writing it but the but the order somehow get, got changed and therefore this is known as read write hazard how do i identify this there'll be a read and then there'll be a write in your set of instructions there'll be a read and then there'll be a write um, with the same data item obviously now uh, any any uh, another important thing to note down over here is that this necessarily the jth instruction or the instruction executing after i not should uh, if it is a logical instruction then definitely uh, this uh, hazard can occur but even if it is some other arithmetic operation let's say it is subtract then also this hazard can occur right because the race around condition is always there right so that uh, you know that problem can also occur when there are two arithmetic operations participating in such a situation this in many books you will find this example or two arithmetic operations executing uh, in this manner so uh, this is not necessarily only a logical instruction but this was just to give you an example so now uh, 
let's just rephrase it, rephrase it once. So logical instructions execution is faster than arithmetic. Hence, it may happen that the jth instruction gets executed before the ith instruction. If in case this happens, then the ith instruction would add into R3 a modified value of in, into R1, sorry, into Yes, add instruction will add into R1, R1, a modified value of R2 and R2 and, and a modified value of R2. Yes, thus this would produce an incorrect result. This is called RW hazard or read write hazard or anti dependency hazard. Right? So let's move on to its condition. So, what is its condition now? Okay, uh, another thing, why is it said to be an anti-dependency hazard? If you just see this example, you will be able to make out the answer for this. So, this is very simple. See, first operation was performing a read operation, which is independent of any other instructions operation. Second was performing a write operation. Now, this write is basically what? Write is generally said to be an independent operation. Why? Because I am updating the value of the data item. If some other instruction reads this updated value after my updation, then it will be a dependency. But now, as in, I am just updating this data item, so this is an independent operation, right? So, this is anti-dependency hazard in this sense because there was no dependency. But since the order changed, it somehow became a dependency, right? So, let's move on to its condition. Now, its condition is also very simple. Uh, so, the condition is, if i is less than j and if i is less than j and ri intersection wj is not equals to 5, then the read write hazard may occur. Now, let's see what is ri and wj in this case. We had already discussed this that ri refers to the read set of the instruction, wj refers to the write uh, set of the jth instruction. So, let's first of all see what is ri over here. So, ri that means the read set of ith instruction is r2 and r3 from which I am reading the contents. Wj is what? Wj, we move to the jth instruction. Where What is the register? Which is the register in which I am writing the contents? It is R2. Now, clearly you can see Ri intersection Wj is R2, which is, which is not equal to 5. Hence, the read-write hazard may occur. Solution is again the same delay the pipe, which has been discussed in an elaborated manner in the first video of your write-read hazard. So, you may, you may please refer to that video over there. And now, delay the pipe is also known as pipeline stall, pipeline break or pipeline bubbling solution. So, the, that's all for this session. In the next session, I'll be taking up the right right hazard problem and then the other types of hazards. With right right, we'll complete the data hazard. So, I'll see you all in the next, next session. Till then, stay tuned and keep doing your hard work. I'll see you all in the next session. Thank you.